Hey guys, Game Guide here with another Mountain Blade Warband review, and this one's on the mod, the Eagle and the Radiant Cross. So, this is an interesting mod that, honestly, it's pretty popular. There's a lot of uh, Let's Plays out there for YouTube on it, but I figured I would give my, uh, my opinions of this mod, since I have yet to do it, and it is really popular, so it's one that I definitely think you should check out, I'll tell you that right now. I have played quite a bit of it, and I quite like it, to be perfectly honest. Anyway... I'm just going to read to you a couple of the features on the page. All features, he has a huge list of features, can be found at the link down below, as well as the download link, and you get all the information you need down below in the description. But a couple things he did was all factions, troops, and features are ported with minor adjustments and inclusion of warband items in certain cases. There's formations now, uh, which can be configured in camp, J is to follow, K is to follow standard bearers, U to cancel, Mounted standard bearers and kingdom heroes will rejoin the formation once dismounted. Each town gets its factions equipment in tournaments, mostly color coordinated by uh, heraldic shields. Tournament fighter routine expanded. Round performance changes, relations with other heroes. Anyway, so he's added a bunch of different stuff. There's a bunch of information that you guys can get in um, in the description of the mod that really, I, it, it would take me all day just to read all the features that he has listed. But um, let's get into the Eagle and the Radiant Cross, since it's a very, very good mod. As you can see, he has changed all the background colors on the loading screen, which, in my opinion, a mod really does need to do. Um, I definitely think that's a very nice addition. Alright, so again, they have this very unique way of customizing your character, which I really like. First off, you have gender. You can either be male, or you can be female. And this, of course, will change your story. And your story is listed here. One complaint I do have is it's really hard to read this. So something that I do feel they need to ease up on, maybe put a little bit more white, because some of this stuff really fades in. But other than that, this uh, this description is pretty good. And I'm going to go with the easiest thing, of course. So I'm going to go male. Because the reason I go the easiest thing, for those of you who don't know, is because it's the best way to show off the mod, because you can get more done in the time that I want to get things done in. So then we have nationality. Which, if it's basically your faction. That's essentially what it is. Where you come from and whatnot. So, you have Swadian. You have Yegir. You have Ormeli, which is a new faction. Lorien, which is a new faction. You have... Elysian, which is a new faction. You have Kaiser Leisher. At least I think that's how you say it. That's how I pronounce it. I don't know about you guys. It's a new faction. Union and Ducal. So... All of these factions are relatively, you know, good. Um, there, there's really no reason to not like any of them, at least in my opinion. Personally, I think I'll go with... I'm going to go with something new. I'm going to go with Ducal. I've never played as these guys. I don't, at least not to my knowledge, I don't remember playing as them. Alright. Parents. So this is what your parents were. Um, essentially, like, this is just like the native warband setup of what did your parents do? What kind of childhood did you have? Uh, what did you do after that? Why did you um, seek to go out of your realm and uh, travel around? And that can be from wanderlust. It can be from loss of a loved one. It really doesn't matter. Uh, they've added in some new ones here, obviously. Religious fervor, which is, uh, you know, that kind of teaches, like, you to be religious and whatnot. Being forced out of your home. Lust for money and power. All these are basically the same as uh, before. There's a couple additions. All right, we'll go wanderlust. We are... Hmm. Sell sword in foreign lands. Nah. Let, let's go with a university student. Then childhood. Page in nobleman's court because that will immediately make me a noble. And again, that's the easiest way to do things. Skills, infantry, cavalry, or you can be a skirmisher. Personally, I think that uh, infantry is best because it's kind of a good mix. Because I, I like to be on horses a lot, granted. But I do like the extra capabilities that infantry have. Creed is a either can be a noble, commoner. Sometimes this does get a little bit stuck. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's only two here. I was thinking of a different one. So you can either be a commoner or a noble, and I'll have to go noble because again, that's easier. And again, really, you can't see this too well. I mean, you can kind of see it. You are a no, well, to be perfectly honest, I can't really see that. But anyway, a descendant of one of the original inhabitants. And I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but um, 
it does give a pretty detailed description of your life before this, so I definitely think that's important in a mod. So, uh, let's go ahead and continue. And now since I became a noble, I can choose a banner, and that one looks pretty good. I don't want to take too much time on this, and allow me to quit without saving, because that's best when showing off a mod, and I'll just put it as my name, because that works out well. Okay, let's improve. Since I really won't be showing, well, I, I will be showing fighting, don't get me wrong, but... I'm, I'm going to show off troops more than myself, because you guys really don't need to see me um, destroying people very much, because I put out regular warband stuff that you can see that anyway. So, let's uh, let's go like that, put everything to 8. That's what I generally like to do. Uh, I like getting one prisoner management, because selling prisoners is a good way of making money in the beginning. And let's see. Surgery, always important. It'll stop your men from dying. More so, they'll get wounded instead. Um... Where's Trainer? Here it is. Love Trainer. It's my favorite skill on this game. Tactics. Sorry, filled. Inventory management. It's good to have a little extra inventory space, although maybe not in the beginning. Whatever, I put it in there. Comprehension. This is a new one. Increases the amount of experience obtained in battles. Uh, at least I believe that's a new one. I do not remember that at all um, before. And also, you can tell because it's kind of going into a little bit of skills over here. I believe that's the only new one, though. Let me take a quick look, just to make sure. Yeah, this is the only that's the only new one, to my knowledge. Um, let's put one into Iron Flesh. And I wish I could get more leadership for more men, but that's okay for now, I guess. Uh, wound treatment. And what else? Let's go. Wow, three riding skill right off the bat. That's good. Don't mm, I'll put another one in prisoner management. Alright. One handed weaponry. Get that to 70, and then crossbows. As you can see, there is firearms in here as well. Pistols and muskets. So, I won't be using a crossbow for too long, if at all. Okay. So here's my character, as you can tell. And let's let's change him real quick. I don't want to take too long in this. I might just, you know, let, let's randomize. Let's see. It could work. Beard. Definitely no, though. No, that's stupid. Um, and I like setting the age to where there's little streaks of white. I don't know why, but that's just my preference. And there we go. And done. Alright, you return to Caladria. Land now torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other for supremacy. I have uh, a haven for knights and mercenaries. Cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune power or glory in this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life or perhaps reclaim your heritage you feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands free to choose as you will and that whatever course you take great adventures will await you drawn by childhood memories of Caladria and its kingdoms you decide to and this is where you're going to choose where you're starting on the map now I have already set my um, my group or my nationality to be part of these people so, I think I'll go with them, because that's my nationality anyway. You're exhausted by the time you find the inn in Tarnaud, uh, and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which, uh, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs on your neck on end, the rasp, uh, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. There we go. Let's get started with the mod here. Looks like I'm starting off with a spear and a sword. As you can tell, sound effects have been uh, redone. You can definitely hear the sound. Oh, you have a gun. Get out of here. Ow. Oh, he has a damn weapon that hits me to the ground. How annoying. As you can tell, guys take a lot more hits. But uh, there we go. Cossack Bandit. Let's go talk to this guy in the funny hat. It's a very funny hat. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. And he's going to take us to his inn. Here we go. I also got a uh, flintlock pistol, so I guess I won't be using a crossbow at all. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry. Now, he's going to give you the standard quest that I have to um, go and hunt the bandits right outside the town. Then I have to bring him the information, and then I go and fight the bandit outpost and whatnot. And it's always good to do this, in my opinion, for the extra money. As always, you have uh, just Q brings up your quest. Wayne right up Tarnoud wants you to collect at least five men from the nearby villages, and then I have to fight the guys right outside. 
So let's go to the map screen and I will show you guys what this looks like. Okay, welcome to the Eagle and the Radiant Cross. This version is for Warband 1.132. Yep, 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 yep. And here's where you can reset all of your um, all of your uh, keys. This is pretty nice. I like these um, these uh, form ranks. You know, follow the bearer and whatever. I like that a lot. It, it definitely can add to some really nice effects later on in huger fights. Okay, done. I'm pretty good with all that. Distance limit for showing enemy HP bars. This is like I really like this. It brings up the options for you right away. I like that a lot. It's uh, it's nice having this. Speed of battles on the map. Keep it regular. Okay. Nah, that's fine. Encumbrance. I'm gonna take that off. Uh, no cheat mode. <laughs> there is a cheat mode for you guys if you want that. Show battle minimap. Okay. Uh, that should be good. Should be good. Alright, so here we are. We don't even have a horse. As you can see. We do have a flintlock pistol. We have some clothes, which are really bad. I'll probably just sell them. And some um, shoes, essentially. Manual of arms. Plus one to indoctrination. Let's keep, I like keeping my books at the bottom. Personal preference. Uh, rotten pork. So we don't even have good pork. Okay. Well, the first thing I like to do is sell my items that I don't want. So. You can manage your finances. Here you can deposit money if earn interest over time. Unless the ruling powers disagree with you, you can also manage your loans here. So loans, eh. I'm bad with uh, loans in any type of game, investing in places, because, I don't know, I, I'm just horrible at doing that kind of stuff. So I'm going to avoid that, and we'll just sell some stuff. Okay, goods merchants fine. As you can see, they have a whole bunch of dyes here, which is crazy. Okay. I can actually put on this flintlock pistol. I don't think I have any bullets, though. It sucks. Here's some cartridges. I'll probably buy those. I don't know yet. I, I don't really like the war spear, to be perfectly honest. Let's sell that and buy the cartridges. And the pistol. Again, personal preference. Okay. So I don't want the rotten pork. I will buy some better food. Dried meat. There's not much food here at all. Here's some new items. Uh, cheese. Okay. And hopefully we can get a small horse. No, we cannot yet. Alright, we'll have to wait for the horse. So you need to be really careful early game because oftentimes you'll be attacked by bandits. You need to be careful about that. Also, oh, okay, that's just from the bandit that attacked me in the beginning. Okay. Let's go, um... Wow, I did not even see these guys. Okay, free passage. There you go. Oh, get in town. So yeah, look at all these bandits around. Like, it's crazy sometimes how many bandits you have running around in the beginning. Okay. Three ducal militias. There we go. Here is their sprite, as you can see. And you can upgrade them in two different ways, starting out. Always good. You want to have some variety. Something that I felt Native Warband sometimes didn't always do. It's pretty much just uh, one way or the other. But in this mod, I feel that you know, you have a good choice either way. All right. Recruit more. Nobody's willing to join me. Wow. Okay. I need to avoid all these deserters. They're everywhere. Let's go over there. More of these damn bandits. Let's recruit some more guys. Two more. That's five. I like getting more than five because that tends to not really be enough, in my opinion. Um, probably go over there. No. Stay away. I'm still much faster than them. Alright. Whoop. Did not mean to go to the village center, but at least I can show you around. It's, it's very similar to Warband. If not exactly the same, I don't know how, like, how the same it is, but as you can see, standard, pretty standard, talk to a townsman. Um, you know, it's, it's some new stuff here, what is the village, and all that good stuff. And also, I just noticed my hairstyle is absolutely horrible. Whatever, 
not like this is going to be an extended LP or anything. So let's uh, let's go over here. Need to go back to the merchant. I have way more than. Whoa. Okay. Need to be careful about these deserters. Deserters um, are not really that big a deal as long as they're low class units. But sometimes you get really high class units in those units. And I said units multiple times. All right then. Let's go fight these guys. Alright, so this will uh, give you a couple different options here. You can lead your troops, take the field. You know, take the field is pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, plan battle, and you know, just to show you. Uh, you can have your initial units here. This will tell them exactly what to do. So I want them to hold this position. I want them to advance. I want them to stand closer. And I want them to... Uh, j just nothing there, I guess. And prepare orders. Dispatch orders. And there we go. Now planning to battle. And here we go. Okay, so here's my men. And this one guy looks different. Oh, two guys. Okay. So as you can see, these guys, some of them at least have bows, so it's always handy. Uh, I'm actually going to tell them to spread out. Let's uh, Let's get them to move up here and then spread out to them a couple times. There we go. Because I want them to have a good um, arc of fire. Let's move up a little bit more. As you can see, backspace also works, but now they have a little map up there to where you don't need to press backspace to see it in the upper right. If you can see that, red little dots are the enemy. And um, I like that feature because pressing backspace to get it, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it certainly is better uh, like this. Let's have our guys open fire. A little bit of lag there. Sorry about that. Use blunt weapons and charge. Okay. Ooh, nice blunt lock pistol shot. They're mostly tossing rocks at me. I'm not too worried about them. Another thing, you can use your flint lock pistol with your shield if you are so inclined to do so. My shield can take all these rocks, it's pretty pathetic. I missed? Really? Yeah, punch him in the face. As you can tell, these guys really are no big threat. But, uh, again, these militia only use their hands and fists. So, I don't know. They're, they're doing a good job, amazingly enough. But, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Winning against the looters. Okay. So they killed two of my guys, but it's kind of necessary to uh, to get in one of those fights that we can start upgrading. So here you have the choice between a Cypher and a Companion. I'm going to start off with the Cypher, which basically gives them that Scythe, as you can see. And I'll show you the Companion as the next upgrade. Okay, do I have enough strength for this? Yes, I do, and it's way better, I'd assume? Yeah, I'd say so. Get rid of the Rusty Sword and get the Tempered Falchion. And... I don't think there's really much else that I want, but I will take all this to sell. That is something I always like to do. And there we go. Some nice stuff to sell. Hopefully I have plenty of food for at least a little while. Yes, they barely eat in any, which is great. Okay. Now that's done. Some soldiers can be upgraded again, so I'll show you the companion. Now the companion is on horseback. It's essentially a horseman, and personally, in my opinion, it is the better choice starting off. However, the cipher gets you just some very, um, very powerful units later on. The uh, Companion does start off better than the Cypher, however, um, they do not get as good as the Cypher in later parts of the game, once you get them higher upgraded. Okay, so, let us go to the Tavern to talk with the Merchant, and as you can see, they, they've remodeled the Taverns a little bit. I don't, I don't believe I ever saw this type of a Tavern in um, Native Warband. And as you can see, there's uh, some people here. Let's go upstairs one more time if I can. Looks like I can. And we have beds. So it's essentially like an inn, hotel type thing. So there you go. Now, let's see if there's any mercenaries. Yeah, these guys are mercenaries, as you can see. Alright, let's talk to you. I'll hunt for bandits. And let's talk to you. Me and ten of my mates are looking for a master. That is a lot of guys, but it's 4,100, which, unfortunately, I can't afford. 
I don't believe I can even afford one, to be perfectly honest. Those guys are pretty good. They have javelins that they can throw clearly, as you can see on their back. They're pretty good. All right. Let's move out. And what are we going to do now? We have to fight the little bandits that are running around. There they are. These bands of robbers, they're really pathetic. Uh, one thing that I will say about this mod that I'm not the biggest fan of is when your units first start off, they're really, really crap. As you saw, my men were having to punch the enemy to death when they had sabers and whatnot. Yeah, that's a real problem. I feel that it's extremely difficult to level up units in the beginning. But that is why trainer, the trainer skill, is your best friend on this mod. So you definitely want to get that up as high as you can. Because that will get your guys upgraded outside of battle. Okay, where do you keep your prisoners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's just... I'll just plan the battle real quick. Hold, advance... Oh, also, yeah, alright, these guys go hand in hand, hold, advance, spread out, um, and not. Okay. In fact, um, yeah, that's good. Prayer orders, dispatch orders, and enough planning to battle. Okay. So as you can see, these guys clearly have the advantage, uh, th this horseman clearly has the advantageous start off in the beginning because he has the chain mail, he has a nice war axe, but as I said, these guys get very, very impressive later on. Here you are. As you can see, this guy's wearing, like, leather. Looks like leather anyway. Yeah, I'd say it's leather. Cavalry, get behind the line. What are you doing? Really? You got stuck there? Okay. Also, you have your bag, which contains your inventory. You have your flag on the side of the field, which is uh, pretty basic. Pretty basic. Okay, so it looks like all my guys have weaponry, at least. What do you have? A little machete. Yeah, so th these guys will probably need to use their fists. At least I'd say not. Okay, let's charge. Cavalry charge. There's really no point in not doing that early on. Yep, down goes that guy. Hmm, this flintlock pistol is a lot more inaccurate than I would have hoped. Those rocks can cause some damage. As you saw, I took 8 damage there from a rock. It's kind of funny. Okay. Spare me. Yes, I'll spare you. Just tell me where prisoners are. Basic quest. And let's take that stuff to sell. You still have plenty of food, which is important. If you start losing food, then your morale goes down. So, let's see here. Let's upgrade these guys. I, I'm going to want another companion, because all my other guys will probably be infantry from what I have right now. And let's go ahead and see if we can recruit any more guys. No, we cannot. We cannot do that yet, which is fine. Happens. Are they following me. No, they are not. Deserters. Um, I think I could take that personally. No, actually I shouldn't try that because his men, uh, he has eight ciphers which are better than my uh, militia in every way possible, so I'm going to avoid them. They are not chasing me though, which I'm lucky. Okay, so where are they? Lubel. Let's find that. It's right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out there, I guess. Yeah, mm. let's first go to Lutsk, or however you want to say it. No, I still can't get any guys. Okay. Are my men all good? Uh, I'm waiting for one Ducal Militia. Might as well wait. Uh, let's see. And deserters. Veteran Ducal Companion, those guys are very good. Ducal Outcast, again, pretty good. Uh, let's meet with the Elder. That's another nice option that they didn't have in uh, Native Warband that they do actually have in With Fire and Sword, if you have that game. Any task I can help you with? I refuse to help with cattle. I hate cattle missions. It's such, uh, I hate cattle. Alright. Are we ready yet? No. Let's Whoa! Hello. Okay. Need to avoid these guys. I'm just waiting for this guy to get back up and on his feet. He is taking quite a while. I will admit. Alright, I'm just going to go for it. Let's go ahead and attack the hideout. 
I really have no intention of uh, losing this, to be perfectly honest. It's not very hard in the beginning, by any means. I could take all these guys myself, probably. But, uh, I don't know. It, it's a fun challenge sometimes. And why am I wearing this stupid hat? Such a weird hat. And I swear it's covering my hair completely, because I'm pretty sure I had a different hairstyle. I'm very sure, actually. That's really weird. Whatever. There's a couple guys over there. That's where the majority of them are. Probably going to be shooting at us. Alright, my guys are going over that way, so I'll go over this way. Catch them off guard. Well, not really off guard, because my guys aren't even making it to them yet. Okay, they're distracted over here. Go ahead and shoot one of these guys. Oop. Hello. There you go. Hopefully my guys have that under control. One of my guys got knocked unconscious. No big deal. As you can tell, the fighting is quite a bit different. Um, in my opinion, I don't really know why you do uh, why you would use a bow other than a rifle, other than accuracy at distance. Up close, which is mainly where you'll be, you really want to use the pistol. I don't know exactly why you'd use a crossbow. If you have any reason and you've played this mod some, let me know. I, I just never really found a use for the uh, crossbow or whatnot. Thank you, thank you for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother in turn out put you onto their tracks? Yep. Okay. So, here we go. And we take some stuff to sell. I think bandits would really have better stuff, but I guess not. Alright, we should go back and sell some stuff. I'm pretty sure this will sell for a lot of money, and in fact we are going back to a town right now, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's just great. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well. Just, uh, scrap. No. What? Okay. I think I'm gonna have to pull back leaving some soldiers to cover my retreat. Yeah. Probably loses 20 morale. It's never good to do that, but I got caught off guard by those 17 looters. That's a lot. And also they were joined by others, which is really crap, but uh, whatever. We're fine. No big deal. This is just to show off the mod. It's not like it's a let's play, so I don't have to play perfectly. I'm just showing off the mod and its new features. I quite like this mod. I really do. I play this mod quite a bit, to be, per uh, to be perfectly honest. I have a uh, quite higher level character. Okay. Okay, let's, um, how much money do I have? 360. My morale is still fine, too. Let's go talk to the merchant, get our money, and then do his other quest as well, and then I'll show a little bit more, and I think we're done. Um, quite like this, though. I'm going to show off some of the other factions, too. I'm going to show you the mini-map more, um, not the mini-map, but the whole map, the world map. And... Yada yada yada. He wants me to fight the bandits in the town, essentially, because the marshal was letting them in. If you guys haven't heard this story a million times, then I'm really surprised because it's in every mod because it's the opening quest. Okay, now it's the attack. I don't know why he does that 180. It's weird. Okay, whoa! Hello! Why did I put away my shield? that it? Huh? Oh, that was lag. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes there is that bit of lag. I don't actually think that's the mod at all. It just happened to me a bit on Warband Native, too. So, I don't know. Uh, where are you going? There you go. That peasant's probably gonna die up here. Save you. There we go. Oh, it's a bandit. I just keep putting away my, uh, my shield. It's annoying. Uh, behind you guys. Um, okay. Well. Ah, oh, hello, Marshall. Yeah, there you go. Now you look like Marshall. You're just a highwayman. It's lies, all lies. Is that it? Um, they're running into a wall. Where, oh, where could he be? Oh. He yeah, has a gun, and he it looked like he shot me at least. I don't know. Whoa, buddy. Too close for comfort. Okay. 
This battle is is a lot longer in uh, in this mod than in native. Mostly, there's only like five guys you fight in native, but there's a lot more in this. There's probably a guy up here. No? Huh. Okay. Where are the last of them, then? Are there any more? Is it glitching? I'm not really sure. You guys done? Um... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused. Uh, let's, I guess I'll look around a little bit more because the, the merchant doesn't even need to talk to me when they're all dead. He might be glitched into the wall, that's something that I'm fearing is happening right now. Let me just take a quick look around. Hopefully he's not glitched in the wall because I do want to show more. I'll just come back after, um, if he is glitched in the wall, just, uh, reload, come back, no big deal. It's not up here. Hmm. The odds are he's in the wall, which really sucks. Uh, can I just leave? Cannot leave now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just not really sure. Hmm. I'll look a couple other places, and then I'm going to call that he's in the wall, and I'll have to restart, but uh, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, are you over here somewhere, dude? I mean, you'd think, you'd think that it would be fine. Where, where is he? All right, I, I think he's in the wall. Take a look over there one last time. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's in the wall at this point. Hmm. It's very odd. I, I've never uh, had this glitch happen before. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of where he could possibly be. Because these, yeah, these guys are just running into a wall. Like, what? what's the deal here? Let's see if I can shoot one of them. I am indeed the bandit overlord. Fear me. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I just kill them all. <laughs> well, this is anticlimactic. To say the least. Ah. Uh, hello. Are you in here? No. All right. I'm pretty sure he's in the wall at this point. Uh. Yeah. Th there's no way he's anywhere else. I really don't know what the deal with that is. Um. So yeah. I'll be back in a minute. See you guys. And we are back. So I just loaded. Okay. Let's see here. Are you right here still? Yeah. What's the deal? Oh. Be interested in becoming my personal bodyguard. Okay. Okay. So I guess he's my personal bodyguard now. It's another feature of the mod. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it there. I hope you all enjoyed this. It was uh, it was definitely a great mod. I love this mod a lot. And personally, I, I think it's a great mod. Um, I don't know, leave your opinions on it down below after you played it uh, a bit more. Because, you know, everybody has their preference. Everybody does. And uh, if you don't like it, then that's fine. Uh, I'd, lo I'd love to hear your reason for it. They, this mod really has added a lot of cool stuff from uh, Native. And... I don't know, I, I've really enjoyed this mod thoroughly. I've played a lot of mods, and this is one of my favorite, definitely. But uh, here's a couple things you need to know. They have guns, they have bows, they have crossbows, they have new factions, they have a new opening screen, they have the same opening start quest, they have difficult to read descriptions, and uh, that is what I showed you here today. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.